Yes, I'm the door. Open the door. Open the door. I'm sorry, I'm so bad. Open the door. I'm sorry, I apologize. In there? Open the door. Sorry, I've been out here for a while. I've been real busy working. Open the door, guy. This guy has shown up to the crib three different times, and in this video, I'm going over all of those times in detail. You see, it all started in December of 2022 when he showed up for the first time completely out of nowhere and completely uninvited. Just roll the clip. Yes, yeah. open the door. Open the door. Open the door. I think it's about time I get the fuck out of Ohio. It's eight in the morning. I'm just having my morning coffee. And there's this NPC that just spawned in talking about open the door. Open the door. You got me fucked up if you think I'm opening the door for him. I woke up around like seven in the morning, got out of bed, then sat down on the couch to have my morning coffee. You see, having my morning coffee is typically the most peaceful part of my day, but not on this day. This was the least peaceful part of my day. Matter of fact, the least peaceful moment of my entire year. Here's how all of this went down. I was sitting on the couch having my coffee, just chilling, you know. Then the ring notification goes off and I was like, who the hell is that? Then 30 seconds later, I start to hear knocking. When it first went off, I really did not know what to think. I honestly was really scared. Check the ring camera and it was this motherfucker yapping open the door over and over. Now I was even more scared because this random guy I have never seen in my life is telling me to open the door for him. This guy just looks like a threat to be completely honest. And this guy was repeating open the door over and over and over for 20 minutes until he finally walked away, which was a huge relief. I really wonder what would have happened if the door was actually opened. I guess we'll never know because I was not opening the door for him. Anything could have happened if I did. But when my ring notification went off at eight in the morning, I just knew that something out of the ordinary was going to happen because that just never happens. There ain't no telling who could have been at the door. I thought it could just maybe be the mailman coming super early, but then again, that just has never happened before. This guy just has to be an NPC because there is no way this guy is real. Who goes up to a stranger's door and demands them to open the door for no reason whatsoever? I never in a million years thought this guy would come back again, but three months later in February, this guy came back for a second time. He literally came back for round two. Just roll the clip. Open the door. I'm sorry I'm so bad. Open the door. I'm sorry, I apologize. I cannot believe what just happened. First things first, this guy's back for round two. And now he's trying to apologize for some reason. This time it's two in the afternoon and I'm just having my afternoon coffee to help me get through the rest of the day. Ring notification goes off and come to find out. This man is back again. This time he shows up with flowers, cookies and starts talking about, open the door, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? So I start thinking, hmm, them cookies would be busting right now. So I give in and I start approaching the door to accept his little gifts and you will not believe what happened next. Dude, it was all one big trap. This motherfucker went into his locker room, changed skins, and jumped through my glass front door. I guess he finally realized that I wasn't gonna open the door for him, so he decided to just bust in on me. Dude, I am so done. I'm getting the fuck out of Ohio. There is a good amount of details slash context that I need to go over here. First things first, I found out what would have happened if the door was open the first time he came. Yeah. I knew it was some trap, but this is how all of this unfolded. It was a peaceful Saturday and I was cleaning up the crib because I had some family coming to visit the next day. Now here's where things started to unfold. It was 2 p.m. I was halfway done cleaning the house. I made myself a nice afternoon coffee to, you know, help me push through cleaning up the rest of the house. Because I was feeling really tired, I woke up really early on this day. I sat down on the same couch, took one sip, one sip of my afternoon coffee. Then the motherfucking ring notification goes off. And I was really confused because I thought just maybe it could be them and they got the day wrong or something. So, you know, I checked the ring camera to see who it was. And I was like, open the nor guy? He was back. I could not believe it. And this time he was trying to apologize, which was really suspicious because what is there to apologize about? I have not met this guy a day in my life. Keep that in mind. He had flowers, 
cookies, acting all sweet, looking really trustable, and was politely saying, open the door. So I said, fuck it, I'm opening the door. I opened the door, and it was one big trap, which I mean, I expected it, it was dead obvious. The reason I did it though was because there was a small chance that it wasn't a trap and he just wanted to talk or something. You only live once, and I took that risk. And what happened was exactly what I was scared of. When I opened the door, it was a completely different guy there, which I was thinking that it was open the door guy and he just changed skins. But anyways, I opened the door and I immediately slammed it back shut. Because because it was not the same sweet old man I saw on the ring camera. But me slamming the door didn't even do anything except give me time to run because he decided to just jump through my glass front door. <laughs> I ran out the back door just thinking to myself, I shouldn't have done it over and over. Just deep regret. I went to go hide in the woods for a few hours to wait it out, hoping he would leave after he took what he wanted. So three hours passed and I went back to my house and it was a total mess. Glass everywhere, not that much was stolen, but I literally just cleaned the house. So I had to clean it again that night because I had people coming over the next day. So I grinded that out. It took a good five hours to clean. Then after that long ass day, I lay down in bed. I fall asleep. Then I wake up at 1 a.m. from a random phone call from Open The Nor Guy himself, which was one of them no caller ID calls. So I had no idea who it could be. And he mumbles, hey, what happened earlier was just a prank. You walk the prank, pip squeak, then hangs up. This motherfucker really called me pipsqueak. Ain't no way. Like, that's personal. The fact that he instantly changed skins like in Fortnite is another reason why this guy is just not real. And dude, after all this, I for sure thought he was done and would never come back. But I was wrong once again. Seven months later in September, he came back for a third damn time. In there? Open up. Sorry, I've been over here for a while. I've been real busy working. I never thought this guy would come back, but today he has made a return. Here's what happened. It's nine in the morning. Ring notification goes off. I assumed it was the mailman like any other day, but that was not the case. It was open the door guy. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw his face. This time he was just trying to let everyone know what he's been up to, and he also apologized for not coming to visit. This motherfucker has completely forgotten what happened last time. I just told y'all what happened last time, but this time there was a way different outcome. Here's what happened. It was a sunny September morning. I was laying on the couch watching some TV, just chilling, you know? Nothing out of the ordinary for a Thursday morning. And I was also having my morning coffee as well. Then completely out of nowhere, I started to hear, you in there? over and over very quietly. At first I thought it was coming from the TV, but then it started getting louder and louder. I walked up to the TV to see if it was coming from it, and it in fact was not coming from the TV. Then it just stopped. So I sat back down on the couch and just completely forgot about it. Then five minutes later, I started to hear open the door over and over. And I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. I was thinking it cannot be him. There is no way that motherfucker is at the door right now. There is just no way in hell. I walked up to the door to see if it was coming from my door and it clearly was. Then five seconds later, as I was listening at the door, the ring notification goes off. And at that moment, I was scared shitless because the odds that it was that motherfucker once again were really high. It sounded just like him. So I checked the ring camera and come to find out this guy is dead ass at my front door for the third damn time. This time he was saying, you in there? Open the door. Sorry, I've been real busy working. Sorry, I haven't been over here for a while. Motherfucker, I never wanted you to come back. Why are you apologizing? This guy dead ass completely forgot what happened last time. And at this point, I didn't know what he was going to do. I was praying that he was not gonna do the same thing as last time because that was just a complete nightmare. So I'm standing there thinking to myself, yup. GG's in the chat. I'm fucking cooked. This guy's about to rob my ass again. So I thought, if he's gonna rob me again and jump through the door, why not at least open the door for him so he doesn't have to break the glass that I just got fixed from last time? And maybe, just maybe, he's a changed man and he wants to talk or something. At the time, this was my best option. I mean, it was just 50-50. He could either rob me again or he's here to talk or even apologize for last time. I mean, who really knows? So I start slowly opening the door, ready for absolutely 
literally anything. Like my adrenaline was through the roof. Like I was ready for anything. I fully opened the door and he was sitting there all quiet. He did not go into his locker room and change skins this time. It was the same old man that I saw on the ring camera. And he was talking about everything he's been up to and such, you know, we really just had a good conversation. Believe it or not, He's a changed man now. We hugged and everything was all good. Like we're on good terms now. Will he come back for a fourth time? I do not know, but if he does, I'll let y'all know. If you guys haven't already watched my last video, go watch it. And if you already watched my last video, go watch this one. <laughs>